Whoa, what's up? Today's video is called Lessons from Mugabe. God damn it. Going into this, I was pretty one-sided. I thought I was going to think a certain way about Mugabe. Just knowing, oh, from what people tell me, he's a revolutionary, you dig? Freedom fighter, this, that, and the motherfucking third. Now, if you knew here what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. Well, I came out of this fucking research that I went into with a whole different view of Mugabe, and it changed the whole title of the goddamn video to lessons from Mugabe goddammit because see the man on the screen I respect the shit out of him he was a fucking rebel he was a freedom fighter goddammit he did 11 years in jail for speaking up for African rights goddammit he got three degrees while he was in that motherfucker goddammit but see what he was caught up into was a proxy war at one point you did because y'all already know when uh the Britons the Brits or whatever the fuck you want to call them dirty English invading motherfuckers when they came into Zimbabwe and took over by tricking the chiefs and shit getting them to sign treaties that say 18 rifles and we get to own all the iron and shit in your land and shit once they tricked everybody to fuck off people like Mugabe was put in a proxy war basically Mugabe in, in coma was in a proxy war with uh the Soviet Union and fucking China you are witnessing a rebel network and in a way if you look at how they dress you could tell they was in a little proxy war don't uh Mugabe look like he dressed like a North Korean or some shit like that don't he dress like a what his name is King, Kim Jong ill or some fucking body or kim jong-un whichever one you want pick see they was in a proxy war and a proxy war of ideologies you did because these was two stand-up men who was trying to take um zimbabwe back the uh brits had then came in and named the shit rhodesia and act like they been there from the front fucking beginning of time or something god damn it so what happened y'all is uh, a brutal fucking war broke out you dig between these two african leaders and the proxy war between the Soviet Union and goddamn China. Now, if you don't know about that, you should go do your own goddamn research. But when anybody else who researched it, y'all know what was popping off, goddamn it. What happened was, though, Mugabe laid up there and won, you dig? So when we think, oh, man, it's about to pop off, you are witnessing the rebel network. When you be like, oh, it's about to pop off. All these men done died and shit for this, goddammit. We finally won, goddamn. We finally made it. Like this fucking picture was stayed, goddamn. And we was like, we we made it, goddamn. Let's read this. He said his prayers have been answered with the defeat of his enemies and the seizure of the most white owned land. And let me tell y'all something about uh Zimbabwe. Even though the whites, the British, the fucking invaders was the minority, they was ruled the fuck out of us Zimbabwe and they still is god damn it so over here when you in America oh you're the minority so your vote is less and this that and the third is less and you're less of a fucking individual or whatever the fuck they won't do when they over there invading they be the goddamn majority they control the whole fucking land god damn it so he was like oh we done took the land back but nah when he got into power god damn it y'all gotta know about the global scale of what was going on after a uh, what they name is America and Great Britain and them not Great Britain fuck Great Britain uh, America and the British dirty motherfuckers when they had one in World War 2 you did that mean China had to step down so think about it wouldn't it make sense if you thought oh since uh, the Brits won and they best friends with America they told the Chinese look step down with that Mugabe shit better not, nobody better not lay their motherfucking hands on nobody white over there in Zimbabwe and I know some of you fake motherfuckers ain't gonna take my word for it but that's why you witnessing the rebel network god damn it maybe you'll take this dirty ass queen word for it Mugabe seen here with prime minister nasty ass margaret thatcher in 1980 initially persuaded uh um, persuaded him a policy of rec reconciliation with his white former enemies letting them keep their economic wealth now let's reread that because these were small as fuck from where I'm reading it and I don't want y'all to um hit a wrong fucking thing out of that initially persuaded a policy of reconciliation with his white former enemies god damn it letting them keep, they keep their economic wealth you dig 
See, he let them continue to do what the fuck they want while we had all of these fucked up schools in Zimbabwe. And I say we because I am a part of my brothers and sisters, no matter if some of you fake motherfuckers in America won't throw them away or not because of some people told you they don't like us and all of that dumb shit. You know how I get down. But listen to this fucking excerpt in case you don't believe me. The dude just broke down how the African schools is so fucked up and shit and how the whites was scared. He gonna be like, we were scared, boy. We thought we was gonna see sweeping changes, but shit, Mugabe shut the fuck up and he did what he had to do. Listen to him, y'all. Just five miles away is what used to be an all-white private school. The new government has made it free. Made it free for him. And I want y'all to know one black kid is in this classroom that I'm looking at. Hurry up. On the night that the election results were announced, whites were appalled at the result and I'm extremely concerned at the problems that will exist with the Mugabe government. I th believe that there would be massive integration overnight. I, th I, I felt that the things would change dramatically within the space of a few months. And the standards would collapse? Oh, indeed. I think, uh, I think that was the, the fear in most whites' uh, minds. That, that, that standard would fall away, that they'd be forced to leave the country because of falling standards in education, which is one of the three things, health, education and security, that whites were concerned about. In See? Only concerned about that for themselves, by the way, not the rest of the fucking country. Not the rest of the country, because in the beginning, y'all heard him say right down the goddamn street, because right down the street is a struggling fucking African school. The school just got fucking metal shields like old metal shields from old buildings standing up. No fucking roof or nothing, but they going to school free like a motherfucker right down the street with perfect books and every goddamn thing. Everything they need was at their goddamn hand. Mugabe changed nothing. Y'all heard what that man said oh we thought uh sweeping changes was gonna happen and all kind of shit god damn it nah mugabe allowed everything to stay the fucking same look at him sitting up there shaking hands with the motherfucking queen hugging and shit letting her do the goddamn shit with his fake ass see and understand y'all I'm not going off on Mugabe the rebel. This is Mugabe the motherfucking plant that I'm talking to. So don't take this as outright disrespect to Mugabe himself. This is to Mugabe the plant that's shaking his dirty motherfucker Margaret Thatcher hand. The one who responsible for Planned Parenthood. The motherfucker who said make them think that we trying to do this out of the greatness of our heart but really we just trying to keep these black babies from reaching this goddamn planet and be Coming criminals and she said it at a, a kkk rally god damn it at a kkk rally so fuck whoever got a problem with it god damn it and you're witnessing a rebel network and now we all the way warmed up god damn it let's throw up the picture with him and clint while we listen to how he tell uh the zimbabwean people that oh we inherited capitalism and shit so you know we can't just jump in and change shit he didn't want to take they fucking titty out of his fucking mouth, goddammit. He ain't want to burn that capitalistic ass society's bullshit down. He's still with him and shit. Let me go to the motherfucker, goddammit. And you witnessing the rebel network, so fuck you if you got a problem with me not having this stupid ass clip on hand, goddammit. But listen to how Mugabe got down talking about, uh, look, we got to understand that we just, we inherited this shit. We can't just change shit. You fucking lost your damn mind. You should have burned all that shit down. You should have took all your motherfucking land back. What is you talking about? And I'm gonna go into it. Let's just let let's let's let it play. We warmed up now though. Rebel network shit. Than that of Fidel Castro's Cuba. We realized that we had inherited an infrastructure which is principally capitalist and that whatever socialist policies would want to implement, these policies had to take into account the economic background of the country see see whatever policies he wanted to implement it 
they had to take into account the economic background of the country. See what happens when you in, be inclusive with these people? All they do is trick you. Now, didn't I tell y'all at the beginning of this motherfucking video, you dig? How they tricked the chiefs and shit into signing these old fucked up treaties and all that? What y'all think they doing to Mugabe? Tricking the shit out of Oh, look, Mugabe, look. You dig? Sign this here, man. Look, you can't just start changing shit, Mugabe. Look, if you do this, they gonna put sanctions on you. This gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Well, guess what? You know what I would've did? I would've buckled down. I would've went to my fucking countrymen and I would've said, you know what? Times are about to get real fucking hard, y'all. But guess what? Every step of the way, I'm going to be starving with you, goddammit. You ain't going to see me having no elaborate dinner. Matter of fact, I'm not living in the fucking uh, the home that's, sit, that's preserved for me or the, the president of Zimbabwe. I'm going to be on the motherfucking streets with you. I'm going to live from fucking family to family if I got to. To let y'all understand that we all in this motherfucking fight together. If this what it take, we going to cut off the west we'll take all the sanctions from the west the east the un the uni or whoever the fuck won't come at us but guess what we gonna do it together and we gonna build our fucking nation up from the fucking bottom god damn it that's what's gonna happen but nah what did he do shake hands with a fucking queen mugabe met with u.s president bill clinton but back home the economy slumped he faced new opposition but the end he came out fighting or whatever bullshit you see what the fuck I'm saying? So what that tell y'all? Lesson learned. You don't fucking, you don't blend in with these people. You don't allow them to keep no position. You make sweeping changes immediately. Because don't this sound like a play? Matter of fact, you was the first Obama sound like, God damn it. You witnessing a rebel network, y'all. Because when, when Obama got in, what did they tell us? Well, you can't expect a man to do nothing. He just got in there. You know, they watching him. The Republicans right there. You know, they right on his back. You can't do nothing now. The man can't make sweeping changes. Now, y'all can't expect a man to do this, remember? Yeah, y'all remember all of them fake-ass excuses. Don't it sound like what the fuck Mugabe just not said? All of that bullshit about, you got to take the capitalistic history of the chill. You know, we can't just be doing shit. Having a pe and what that white man said earlier and shit. Oh boy, we thought them niggas was gonna come in and just do their thing, boy. We thought we was gonna have to leave the country and everything, goddamn. But uh, nah, shit, Mugabe here. He done listened to our queen. He done listened to uh Bill Clinton. Look, he done smiled while Bill Clinton showed him the towers and all of this bullshit. We good, thank you, Mugabe, for assuring us that everything was gonna stay motherfucking cool. See, what lessons do we learn from that shit, y'all? You don't blend in with these people. You don't take no motherfucking shots. God damn it. You see how they play the Chiefs? That's just how they playing him. God damn it. How they playing others with their little proxy wars and shit. It was between goddamn China and the damn Soviets. You dig? And then who won? After the World War II when America came out on top with their best friend uh, Britain. The great, fuck Great Britain. With, look, I'm still calling them bitch. Weak Britain, god damn it. Them and their friends, weak Britain. Laid up there and told China, y'all better st stand the fuck down before we drop another atomic bomb on you motherfuckers, god damn it. And this time we gonna drop it in a few locations with they dirty ass always talking about a race car. They the only dirty motherfuckers sick enough to drop the atomic bomb on other humans, innocent civilians and babies because they was fucking losing the war. But what they went in and did, they controlled Africa through that bullshit. Because y'all remember, or I don't know if you do remember, but after World War II, that shit got divided up and all of that bullshit. And, and a lot of people like to say uh, decolonization was going on. No, it wasn't. Motherfuckers, all they did was um, upgraded a new colonization tactic, you did. Because most of them still under Great Britain rule. They still got to go back to the Queen to ask for something. No, it's like they in debt to the Queen and all of them idiots over there you did why you think they still be having a london accent and say some africans and shit after they stripped us of our of our tribal fucking languages and everything else we had now they got us all in our motherland talking about i'm from london thank you very much and the queen i'd rabba and all of that bullshit just like i'm over here that's why i make it a point to fuck up english i ain't, i don't know if i said this in a long term in a long time y'all that i make it a point to fuck up english and some of y'all do too it's 
that subliminal rebellion within your ass that make you sit at the back of the bus even though you could sit in the front when you say wazam that's you rebelling you don't even know it some of you fake motherfuckers goddamn it you don't even know where that shit come from that's that inner fucking slave that inner ancestor my bad no inner slave that inner king or queen and in, queen inside your fucking ass that's saying this ain't my motherfucking language you heard me yeah, dude, this ain't my motherfucking language. I don't give a fuck about this English man and this English ass language. Look what they done to us all across this fucking globe, you did. You see? You're witnessing the fucking rebel network and he up there. And matter of fact, before I leave that out, y'all, look, when he could have uh, teamed up with Encoma, you did. After he won, look what he did. He sent a fucking thousand uh, Korean trained African troops to the West to murder and slaughter more people instead of coming together with Encoma being like, hey, Encoma, let's, let's talk about some shit because these motherfuckers from the West and them Northerners, you know, they can't be trusted, goddammit. Let's think of some shit because they think they got us you did they think we under their ruling thumb but let's play the role like we actually listening to them or like we the biggest enemies ever while we build this shit up up on the slick you know and get rid of they invading raping ass and then they be sitting in your country like they was born there fucking britain they ain't even take over to what the uh 1980s goddamn it when they went over there ch tricking the goddamn chiefs and then they got they gonna act like they been there goddamn like they was born and raised there like they white ass just was birthed there goddamn it like they didn't invade like they was there coexisting with africans since the beginning of fucking time be like oh we're not leaving them people be like this is our home goddamn it just like they being old weak ass south africa where y'all be kissing the ass goddamn it every time you won't visit somewhere you won't go to south africa with them and shit so you can still see them bring me to the most rugged fucking park goddamn it and if i do die then goddamn it i die God damn it, I died trying. Some of you niggas are died trying to sell crack, bitch. I died trying to unite my people. Oh, I, oh, what happened to Black Man? That nigga went too deep into Africa trying to unite niggas and shit. He died. He ran into the wrong coon or somebody. Sliced his head off. You did? I died trying. And I mean every fucking word I'm saying in case any of you idiots don't take me serious. But anyway, what is the lessons that we learned today? Is that we don't keep none of them around. When we seize power, we get rid of all of them. They not they not gonna yellow panther us no motherfucking more. You get what I'm saying? You let you keep them the fuck out of the way. You want your own city, your own state, or whatever the fuck we get in the end, goddamn it. If there is an end to this bullshit. But what we not doing is falling for no yellow panther shit. We ain't been we ain't being inclusive because even at points I heard uh I even heard Mugabe saying, what we want to be is fair and shit. You know, after that trip from the Queen and Bill Clinton and them, he was different. Talking about, we want to be fair and all of this shit. We, I just can't be unfair of a person when them people came over to your fucking home. Your fucking country was totally unfair, murdering us. Fucking, they'll line up uh, like 10 Africans in a row and to save bullets they shoot them directly in the fucking head hoping that the bullet travel from head to head god damn it just so they can save bullets but you worrying about being fair or unfair to some fucking body with that type of mentality that's in their nature to do some terrible shit like that and fuck all of you I can hear you now see that's the shit that feel me I can hear you now well, it ain't all of them it's always see these words these little slogans be in the back of my head whenever I fucking press record I don't give a fuck if it's all of them because the good supposedly ones sit back and shut their weak ass up once again if Hank come to burn down the fucking house Bill gonna shut up and participate so while you up there trying to protect them it ain't all of them it ain't my friend it ain't my auntie it ain't my Sit your weak ass down. If they shut up and get all their amenities, god damn it, they the enemy too. Motherfucker, but what did we learn? We ain't include nobody. And what else we fucking learn? Whenever we get to the point we need to get to, because ain't no telling what that is these days, god damn it. Whenever we get to the point we're gonna have to put the we gonna have to put these ideologies to the fucking side. Cause I don't care if you're Christian or Muslim or any other fucking religious derivative of all of that bullshit, god damn. I don't give a fuck if you're Scientologist. Is your fucking black? Is you black? What are you willing to do for this black shit? 
We ain't got time for no ideologies that motherfuckers gave us getting into the fuck, getting in the way. You know, and I shouldn't even say it gave us because some of you really think you. But that's another story, goddammit. What we need to do is fucking unite. Fuck the ideologies. Don't let nobody sneak in. Don't let them be the spook who sat by the door. That's the fucking movie. That's your homework. I'm about to go watch the rest of 1984 probably in a minute, goddammit. But what we not gonna do is let them do it to us again, y'all. You dig? I'm just trying to make sure I ain't leave nothing out, you dig? Because before this man went to jail, bro, put his face up. You know who he was? The young Mugabe, goddammit, this was him. 11 fucking years, y'all. That's who I love. That's who the fuck I got respect for, nigga. And I say love. I love the fucking rebel that that man was, motherfucker. Man did 11 years. You thought, you, you don't do no 11 years for some shit that you don't really believe in, goddammit. That's why when I join the fucking military, you think I'll join some shit for some shit I don't believe in, motherfucker. I'm willing to die just like I'm willing to die for this shit right here. Now, nah, shit, but y'all know what the fuck I mean, motherfucker. You witnessing the Rebel Network. But see, I'm just like that young Mugabe right there, motherfucker. And I'll be damned if I turn into that old one where they didn't even fucking show up to his funeral. Y'all ain't even packed the house for him. I guess mostly, maybe y'all knew that he was a coon more than I did. Maybe they was like, hey, B. We already knew, you know, this nigga, he sold us out. He was good at first, but then he slipped off. And for them other leaders, and in case anybody expected other African leaders to come um, give, a fuck about, uh, give a fuck about Mugabe, you sadly mistaken, goddammit, because all of them be public, puppets. Goddammit, they be puppets in Nigeria, South America. You know, I mean, South Africa, all of them fucking pit, Ethiopia, they be nothing but tools of fucking the West, the East, or whoever gonna sell out, whoever gonna pay them off, goddamn. You dig? But see him, don't forget the rebel. Don't don't forget about the rebel when you seeing the old faces, goddamn. This the man I respect, y'all. Once again, y'all holler at me.